I'm going to go over the difference between an in-browser JavaScript module and a build time JavaScript module. First off, a module in JavaScript is when you use the import and export keywords between multiple files. And in-browser versus build time modules always comes down to your bundler. So Webpack or Rollup um, are the two most popular bundlers. And an in-browser module, so here we have on the right-hand side the output bundle. On the left-hand side, we have source code. Um, in the output bundle, anytime you still see the import keyword, that means you've got a dependency on an in-browser module. So in this case, we're saying we need Vue, and we're going to ask the browser to give us Vue. Um, compare that, though, with this foo module. With this foo module, um, it actually, there's no import for foo in the output bundle. Foo itself got inlined right here on line three. And so bundlers, both Rollup, Webpack, Parcel, others, are always um, deciding, should I make it an in-browser module or should I make it a build time module? In-browser means we preserve the import. Um, build time means we just actually plop it right into the same file without it being a separate file. And um, Webpack and Rollup are usually configured so that almost everything is a build time module. In fact, the majority of code in production right now um, in 2020 is build time modules. Uh, people aren't using in-browser modules very much. Let me show you an example of what using in-browser modules can look like. Um, so here in our network tab, you'll notice everything from here down is an in-browser module. So we've got a root config module, a style guide module, single spa is a module, the navbar, the people module, the API module, React, and React DOM. These are all in-browser modules. They were all separate network requests here in the browser. Um, compare that if we were doing build time modules. If we were doing build time modules, we would only see one network request to download all of it. And then that one network request would contain all of the code for all of these in there. So it's really just a choice that you have when you're writing front end. Do I want this to be an in-browser module or do I want it to be a build time module? Um, stay tuned, the, um, there's a, another video uh, regarding import maps. Um, that video will go over how do I even use in-browser modules because like I said, right now the majority of organizations don't use in-browser modules at all. Um,